Chalice. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that one of the things that I really like to focus on is the ability to improvise and make up your own music. And one of the things that can really help you to do that is to start to get intimate with the circle of fifths. One really great way to start getting really facile on your cello and get around really quickly is to play patterns and scales specifically in all 12 major keys. And then after you've learned all 12 major keys, you can learn all 12 minor keys. So I'm going to show you a pattern that you can use in all 12 keys to create the major scale. And the pattern uses the same fingering for every scale in the circle of fifths. So it makes it very easy to remember the fingers. You just have to remember where you need to shift to find the notes. So the pattern starts on finger one in the key of C. So you're going to put your first finger on your lowest C, which will be the C on your G string. We don't start on the open C because we can't put first finger on it. So we start with first finger on C and the pattern goes like this. C, first finger. D, whole step, second finger. E with fourth finger. Then we shift to F with first finger. G with second finger. A with fourth finger. B with first finger. And C with second. So again, the pattern is with the fingers. One, two, four. Shift. One, two, four. Shift. One, two. And you might want to notice with this pattern that you're doing extension. So extension means that there is a whole step between finger one and finger two. So we play C. D is a whole step away, which means you stretch between one and two or extend. I don't really like to use the word stretch, so we extend. And then we play E. So we have two extensions in the scale between C and D. And then when we shift between F and G. Let's do that scale one more time. So we're starting on first finger C, extension two, four, shift to one, extension two, four, shift to one, regular two. Back to one, shift four, two, extend back to one, shift four, two, extension one. We can repeat this pattern in all 12 keys. Let's do some of those keys now. So after we play in C major, which has no sharps and no flats, we can go to G major, which has one sharp, and that's F sharp. And again, if you're unfamiliar with the circle of fifths, and don't know your key signatures and how they relate to each other, you might want to do a little bit of research to understand how the circle of fifths works and how key signatures work. But if you understand that, then this pattern is going to start on finger one on G. We're going to use the exact same pattern we used for this uh, scale of C. So we start on G, one, A is two, extension, B is four, shift to C with one, D is two, E is four, F sharp is one, G is two. Back to F sharp, E is four, D is two, extend back to C, B, A, and G. Now you might be wondering why we're playing these scale patterns all with the same fingering. And the reason for that is if you start to improvise and you want to switch between keys, it really helps to know patterns, particularly scales and arpeggio and other kinds of patterns, using the same fingering so that you can easily transpose to other keys. So while it might seem easier to do a C major scale, let's say all in the first position, if you learn it with the shifts, and then transpose it to other keys with the same fingers, you're gonna find that you're more able to get around your instrument and understand the geography. Let's do one more scale just like this. So we're gonna to go to the key of D, which has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. Again, we're starting on finger one on D. E is two, extension. F sharp is four. G is one. A is two, extension. B. C sharp and D. Back to one C 
sharp. B. A. G. F sharp. E. And D. So I'd like to challenge you. I'm going to leave you with a little challenge. I want you to see if you can play every major scale using this finger pattern in all 12 keys. So get your circle of fifths out, start at the top of the circle, go around the circle and play the scales one octave to start. In another video, I'm gonna show you the two octave universal fingering, and then we can also do, do three. But for now, start with one octave, see if you can play all 12 keys, all the major scales, all the way around the circle of fifths. See you in If you enjoyed this lesson and would like more like it, then don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can get more tips and tricks on how to play the cello with more creativity, more flexibility, and more confidence. I'm Nia the Creative Cellist, and thanks for watching.